So I haven't posted anything recently. So I figured we'd do a little equipment walkthrough today. Um, I'm gonna start over here at my cold storage and we'll show you the boring stuff first. And then we'll move on to the fun stuff. So, uh, first off, this is some generic uh, three point. It's actually a category one, but it was really cheap. So it does fit on the 1025R, but it is category one pins. You have bushings on here. Some cheap generic 48 inch box blade that I plan to use for snow removal behind the tractor. Um, this is a Ohio Steel CP48. All the descriptions that are actually, are all the information about this stuff is actually in my description. This is a 48 inch core aerator. This is probably gonna be sold here shortly because I plan on building my own to come off the new front three point hitch on the 1025R. Um, most of you guys have seen on my channel before. Let me step up here where I ain't gonna die. Cozy cab for the 1025R. And then I am actually standing on top of my roller. I'll walk across here. Um, so this is the roller I built. It's about 1,500 pounds. There is videos on my channel of building this thing. No, I do not have plans for it. It was kind of built out of my head. Um, this is three inch thick steel. This is actually oil line piping. Um, side plates are quarter inch. All this tubing is quarter inch. Thing needs a new paint job. Uh, it has hydraulic rear wheels on it, a detachable hitch. This is actually the hitch that slides in there. Um, got some spare tires for it. But then we have this thing. This is uh, John Deere's new heavy duty snowblower offering for the 1025R. It isn't even on John Deere's website yet. I have it. My dealer didn't even know how to install it when I asked a couple of questions about installing when I installed it myself. Um, basically, they didn't ever install one yet, so they couldn't really help me too much. Um, this is the A-frame for it. Here are the front three-point arms. The rest of this hitch is on the tractor. Here's your hydraulic lift cylinder and the hoses. Um, here is the front PTO and the drive shaft for it. Uh, I'm super impressed with this thing. She's a beast. It has a steel impeller in it. This is 47 inches. You can get a 54 and I believe a 60. Don't quote me on that. Um. Over here, just have some other odds and ends, couple brackets. Random brake cylinder. Uh, this tank here, let me hop up here again without oh, dying. This tank is actually handy. Um, this was the tank that came at my sprayer, but it is actually dented in one of the corners. And the company sent me a new one, but I kept the spare one. And I just got a, a pump for it. I hooked a hose onto it so you can actually run a. Uh, you can fill this up with 40 gallons of water and have water where you don't actually have water. Um, definitely handy. Um, kind of keep it around here just because of that. And it didn't cost me anything other than the 40 bucks for the pump. My stockpile of fertilizer. Um, these are some really nice containers. Perfect for storing fertilizer. And uh, I've actually started doing that because that's what people... Uh, when I go to fertilize somebody's yard, I can just grab a pail and I scale it and know how much to put down. But this way I don't have people going, well, I can get that bag of fertilizer for 13 bucks. Why are you charging me X amount to do my yard? Just this way they don't really know exactly what brand you're spreading or any of that. Uh, some of my sister's junk stored over here. Chains binders. This is a... Uh, 16 foot PJ trailer Definitely a nice trailer a um, couple of options that were added to it We got a toolbox here a Little mess right now, but there's four 10 foot chains in here. There's four binders underneath here. We got Two long straps four short ones a bunch of other odds and ends corner protectors um, See something weird on here. This trailer does have strobe lights that can be turned on from the truck that's what that second blue cord is. I don't even know what this thing is. Uh, I'm looking for the tag. 
I hate them on here. Um, but this trailer does have winch plate to it. Needs a winch yet. And uh, this is a straight tail. It does not have a dovetail to it. So it has these hydraulic, uh, these stabilizer jacks. Here are the strobe lights. Um, a couple of plans to this thing this year is actually to weld a bar between these two. I did trick up and move a John Deere B and that was sketchy loading it because you had to come up this ramp, cut over. Um, so we want to do something in here so you can hook a ramp in the center yet. The ramps that are in here are only like four foot ramps and they're meant for like loading like a D9 you swear. They're built stronger than a fucking brick shit house. I would like to maybe get some eight foot aluminum ramps and see if I can't modify that storage compartment to fit some eight foot aluminum ramps in here. Um, these do have the still removable fenders on this trailer. Definitely nice. And uh, fork pockets on the roadside, our passenger side, our curbside, sorry. This is the, uh, what's this thing? This is the uh, 54, yeah, 54. 54D auto connect deck for the 1025R. It is sitting here in front of the trailer because I may have a job for it. Um, so we got all the parts here on this cart. Um, these carts, there's one cart here. Where's the other cart? Right back here. These carts I had made uh, up. I used to have a, uh, this is my small trailer. I used to have a 22 foot hydraulic tilt deck over trailer. So the whole deck tilted, I'll stick a picture in. But uh, I built these, I was doing some work for some contractors and delivering them in their materials. And uh, these worked really good because you could actually go to the lumber yard, have them set the materials on here, hook my winch from the trailer onto here, back up to where they wanted it, back right into the garage a little bit, tilt the deck up, tilt the deck up, and uh, roll the materials right off into the garage with the winch. Worked out per super slick. Um, definitely, definitely worth that. I think I got everything in here. There's the PTO shaft for the snowblower. Um, let me just make sure nobody's coming into our trailer. Hang on one second. Let me see what's going on out here. Okay, sorry. This place is uh, it's a storage unit. It gets a little crazy once in a while during the day with people coming in and out of here with the trailers. And uh, I just want to make sure that the uh, guy next to me wasn't trying to get in. Um, yeah. So that is everything here. There's just some little odds and ends, 15 ton jack, but uh, I think we got most of the big equipment here. This trailer is actually about the perfect size for what I do now. Um, it wouldn't have been a couple years ago, but as my needs changed, I downsized my trailer and my last trailer, that was a beast of a trailer and a beautiful setup and worked awesome. This trailer works, it does need some tweaks to it. I want to uh, put an electric jack on here. This, uh, if you ever order one of these trailers, do the dual jacks. This right here is a pain in the butt to step this plate down every time you gotta step over and push it down. Just my opinion on that. Or do like a hydraulic jack or something. <clears throat> I also wanna make a spare tire carrier for right here. Put a winch on here eventually. But these are sideboards for the front. So these sideboards come down to about here on this trailer. So it covers the front. Um, yeah, so that's about everything that's here. Uh, let's talk about my new favorite piece of equipment. Right there. This thing is amazing for getting around town. It is a 2022 Kawasaki Mule Pro MX. This is brand new. Uh, we added turn signals to it and a winch. This is a winch I actually had laying around from a project that didn't work out. So we're like, ah, we'll throw it on here. Um, so this is, I think, like 760 some cc's. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it works good for getting around town. Um, 
We are actually having it taken to a dealer, uh, a decal place this week to uh, have this filled in green, have this filled in green. And then on the front, the Kawasaki on the front, they're gonna fill in the green to match uh, to match this green. It's like a candy apple green. Um, but put a mirror in it. So here's our switch for turn signals. Uh, winch is right here, and strobe light, which will get put on here eventually. But uh, underneath here, so we hid the contactor for the winch and the circuit breaker for the winch. Um, it's all right down in there. Uh, battery's right there. A couple straps and stuff over there. But uh, our thing to do is try to get a fire extinguisher and tuck a little fire extinguisher in here. But that's the boring stuff. So let's me run back home and get to the big equipment. Um, and anybody curious about this storage unit? It is it's uh, 15, I think, 15 by 47 deep, and they're like 14 foot ceilings. Uh, it's got electricity. Outlets. So not only lighting, but we actually have electricity. So I stuck and hung a cord reel in here. Does work really nice. It's just a nice place to keep uh, stuff out of the weather and out of the dry. But I'm rambling, so let me hop on there and uh, head back home. And we'll see what we got at home. And a quick little jot across town, and we're back. So, what do you guys want to see first? Huh? Uh, we'll start with this outside. So this right here. This is a 120R loader, non-mechanical self-leveling, with a 49-inch bucket. This is currently for sale online. Um, in here, 2019, I believe. Like I said, it'll be linked down below. Um, John Deere 648R stand-on. This has a mulch kit on it, um, and uh, this fancy light bar. Uh, let me grab these keys I just set up here. <laughs> this light bar is pretty cool. So you have white or strobes. Um, I just wired that in with a switch that's just mounted here where the uh, mulch on demand switch would be. Seeing that is not an option on the 48 inch deck. Uh, here we have a set of 48 inch long pallet forks that are tucked underneath the stand on. Um, these are might be sold. I will be getting a different set. So they will be getting replaced with an Artillion, 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 how we pronounce it, 48 inch long pallet forks. Um, here we have John Deere's new mechanical self loving loader. Um, so far I've been liking it. I really like that they actually put John Deere on the front. And as you can see, right down here, we actually have the frame for the uh, front three-point hitch. So the arms I showed you at the storage shed, they slide in here, come down, and that's what that snowboard hooks to. From PTO goes yada yada yada, you kind of get the idea. Here's your top link. Um, and that pin right there is where the hydraulic cylinder goes. But this tractor is a 2017 John Deere 1025R. Um, that cozy cab fits on here. Uh, we have a set of 70 pound weights and a set of 50 pound weights in each tire. And a uh, heavy hitch front or heavy hitch weight bracket. Currently have four 70 pound weights. Plan to be getting four more. Um, there's that. So that's the big equipment in here. Uh, Femco three-point sprayer 40 gallons this thing is gonna get some modifications here this is the pump that's on it it is currently going out slowly but surely so that is gonna get replaced with a much bigger gallon per minute pump um, that is the brush guard for the tractor I need to figure out how to get that on with that front hitch yet that's uh, I kind of even kicked out of the garage right now, rum and sale, so that will be a future project. Um, backpack blower, 
I'll stick the number of what that is. It's actually down below in the description of every video, but um, here we have heavy hitches front weight bracket and the uh, quick attach plates. This is also online for sale right now because that no longer works with the front three point hitch. Here we have a uh, little card I made for the uh, heavy hitch. Uh, it works out pretty good. Um, steel, I think this is like a 111R trimmer uh, with the trimmer head, edger, and I also have the power sweep broom for it. Um, this is the first piece of steel equipment I bought, and it will be the last piece of steel equipment I bought. Um, biggest reason for that is they will not provide parts diagrams. Husqvarna, this is a Husqvarna backpack blower. Got a Husqvarna chainsaw up there, that's a 16 inch bar. Um, I have another Craftsman chainsaw that's actually been super good to me. Uh, that actually needs to be rebuilt down in a different building. Um, that has a 20 inch bar in it and that thing, I put a 24 inch bar on it already. Um, and I handle that thing fine for a Craftsman saw, but uh, just little odds and ends things here. So this is my little fuel storage. So I keep about 15 gallons of diesel and about 20 gallons of gas. We got 50-50 mix. There's some oil mix back there. Um, obviously a toolbox. This light bar here is actually a chase bar. So these two outside ones are red. These two are amber. And this one is a white that is going to go on the back of that side by side. Um, another toolbox. The only other thing that I have of relevance to lawn care and stuff I do would be uh, this lovely Briggs and Stratton pressure washer that I bought when I graduated high school. That is going to be for sale too. Um, yeah, she's got. I've gotten my use out of it. I've got my hours out of it. I'm looking for something with a bigger fuel tank that you can get a little bit more runtime than about 45 minutes off of. Um, been a good pressure washer. But that is about everything I can think of. I think I got everything. Um, there is a whole video on my channel of putting lights on this 1025R and how that looks. Um, there is a two-year two review video of this 1025R on my channel that is really, really good. It actually needs to be updated here to a five-year video, hopefully this summer sometime. And I do want to get like a two- or three-year review on 19, 20, 21, 22. Three-year review on this uh, 648R posted. And I've had that thing for about a month, month and a half, and it's got almost, almost 200 miles on it already just running around here in town to get stuff in that. So there may be a review video coming on that someday, but that's it for today. And as always, have a nice day. Be sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe. The normal YouTube stuff. And, uh, and uh, yeah, have a nice day. See ya.